We started in uh, 1972, uh, March 20th. We started out with three people. Uh, right now we're at 110. We do all types of uh, fabricating, machining, welding, painting, laser cutting. We just bought a brand new uh, fiber laser. I think we're the fifth company in the entire country to even have one. We can do anywhere from a short run up to uh, millions of parts. I've seen this company change over the last 22 years in that we primarily were a tool and die shop and we moved into metal fabrication of all types. It's made out of metal, we're trying to produce it. The thing about AcroTool is that we don't do one specific product. We do products for everybody. We can do something that's as complicated as this, starting it from a blank piece with all these forms and knockouts in it, and then we can get an easy part like this. Another cool thing about working here is that you might get the smallest part, but if the quantity works and it's something that fits your niche, it's a part we always want to do because we can make profit. In the last 20 years, it's definitely become more of a high-tech industry. It's gone from a basic tool and die and chisel and hammer shop maybe 30 years ago to the really sophisticated uh, equipment that's being produced today. Pick up the arm like this, and you can essentially hit every single part of it. AquaTool definitely provides a quality product on time and at a very competitive price. I, I believe that's why I've kept our customer base so strong. So what Andy's doing right now is he'll actually have a flat piece and he'll actually run it first, and you can see the die will actually come down. It'll hit. You can see we actually added all, all these holes in. So it'll start off as a raw piece like this, and then we'll add in all these holes out. I think Pittsburgh is a great place for our business. I think we got a, a, a lot of good people, a lot of good employees. I think the culture in Pittsburgh is definitely a hands-on, um, hard-working, uh, workforce that has grown up in the businesses being machinists and die makers and sheet metal mechanics and welders and things like that. So the Pittsburgh area is definitely full of those type of employees. The biggest challenges we face probably now are um, just getting in a trained workforce coming out of high school. I don't think the schools prepare kids for the real world, the workforce. They come out there being pushed towards the colleges and things like that. Everybody's not meant to go to college. It would be better probably, uh, the challenge would be then to get them educated, get them into a tech school or get them into here and we train them ourselves. So that's the challenge. It's hard to get good, good people. Uh, we train our people here. Uh, we would like to see uh, more money available for training our people. We've created many relationships, so they're personal relationships. I'm friends with many of the executives and in, in our, with our customers, personal friends. You know their families, their kids, their wives. I want to pass it on to my kids. I want to make sure that they have uh, a future in this company. We are relatives of uh, people who work here. Uh, it makes a good basis of employees, uh, and I think it's important because uh, as far as I'm concerned, our employees are the most important.